Breaking right off the top of the Fox 8 10 o'clock news just within the last couple of hours, we have learned a former Guilford County deputy bailiff is charged with assaulting a female while on duty. Authorities arrested James Winarski today on two counts of assault on a female. The sheriff's office opened an investigation into Winarski last month. According to the Guilford County website, he was hired in 2019. As of tonight, we don't know if the two assaults happened on the same day or who the victim is. Winarski was released on a written promise to appear. He's due in court March 1st. We'll continue to follow this and bring you more information as we get it. Hey everybody, welcome to Skadich. Okay, what you're looking at right now is the uh, the booking room at the Guilford County Courthouse in Greensboro, North Carolina. See, I just looked up to make sure there was a camera there. Um, what's happening right now is I had just been arrested, falsely, I might add, uh, for trespass, okay? And any of you that have been watching any of these First Amendment auditor uh, videos know that in order to be trespassed, you must first be given a warning and then be allowed to leave. Uh, once you're given that warning and you're allowed to leave, if you don't, then they can arrest you for trespass. Now, I'll show you the events leading up to um, my contempt of cop here. Okay, this is me. Uh, when I first came into the courthouse, I had a arbitration hearing um, to decide on, I got bad gas. It's another story. I got bad gas from a service station. And I'd already gone to... Um, court on it once and I filed again because they didn't find in my favor so I filed again to have a, uh, a magistrate hear it um, over again and that's why I was there now I had a uh, an audio recording device just audio it didn't do video it didn't make phone calls or anything and they have a, la uh, a sign out there saying no communication no communication device is allowed inside uh, I didn't view it as a communication device where I could use it to make phone calls or video court videotape people but um, the uh, the guards here would not let me in with it so uh, I got a little frustrated I was running late and I took it and I tossed it and uh, at that point the security guards called the uh, bailiffs and you can see I'm walking up to uh, Winarski right there and the first thing he does is I picked up my recorder and the first thing he does is slap my hand and then there was some back and forth but then you can see him point saying okay you're, you're out of here and so I go back and I pick up my scanner basket and I'm walking out and he pushes me right there <laughs> then he pushes me again uh, and over here, he pushes me with his bottle. You can see it in my back. Uh, on another view, I'm telling him to stop touching me. Uh, I'm leaving. Quit touching me. And you can see he's following me out, and he'll set his bottle down there at the uh, security station. And in, at that point, he pushes me again. And I know at that point, he put his bottle down so he could go out hands-on with me. So he's already decided to do that. Okay. So when we get outside, let me show you that version. Okay, we're outside. Watch him. All right. He asked me for my ID. I tell him I don't have to give him my ID unless I've been lawfully arrested. This guy, um, this is Jenkins right here. And he comes out. And within six seconds, he's on me helping Winarski throw me down. And as they're throwing me down, <laughs> I'm... He, the, the, when, when Winarski asked me for my ID, I said, I don't have to give it to you unless I've been lawfully arrested. And he right away says, you're under arrest. Okay, they got me on the ground and I'm saying, Un under arrest for what? And he says, uh, uh, trespassing. All right, so I wasn't given any warning. 
or anything at that point. All right, now, this is the basis for my lawsuit. And um, i like to remind you guys that um, I was filing this lawsuit uh, because of this. This was the whole reason for the action, okay? Um, they arrested me for no cause. Then they charged me with three offenses, which was trespassing, assault on a government official, and um, and uh, resisting and delaying. Okay. Now let me show you another part of that that video. There. Now watch this video here. It's much better. He tells me, give me your ID. I say, no, not unless I'm little. And then he accuses me of pushing him with both my hands. I want you guys to watch this. Uh, Winarski, the guy in the dark uniform, accused me uh, of pushing him. Here I am again. Well, watch my hands. He accuses me of pushing him with both my hands uh, first. And then later on, he changed the story that I pushed him with my tray in his center chest. And the other officer, uh, Jenkins, here in the light-colored uniform, he states that, yeah, he witnessed me uh, push him center chest and that he affected the arrest. Now... I didn't want to get in. I just wanted to go over this again because uh, I want to tell you guys something about being pro se, okay? The thing about being pro se is that, once again, you can't get anybody to um, represent you without it being a high-dollar case, and mine was not a high-dollar case, okay? But... Uh, you have to pay a fee. In federal court, it always costs more. Uh, when I put when I put in my first complaint, that was um, it cost me a hundred dollars to file. No, four hundred dollars to file it. Then I had to um, let each of the litigants know that I was suing them, and to do that, I had to subpoena or summons each one of them, and I had about four or five summonses. So, and those were like $50 a piece. So you can see, you're going to have to have some money. You're going to have to have some time and you're going to have to display some degree of patience while you're dealing with the legal system here. And, and I had a plenty, I have plenty of that because I'm retired. I used to be a trucker over the road trucker at which time I never would have done this. And maybe I would have hired the $400 an hour attorney and gotten more. Uh, but at first, I had uh, the Guilford County Sheriff's Department. Um, I included all the uh, higher ups, the sheriff, the uh, I'm showing it on there, trying to show my injury on the camera. But then I was uh, later on. Um, I went to the magistrate hearing and, uh, the judge didn't see at that time any reason for me to continue with, uh, the higher ups and the sheriff's department. So he kind of moved them aside and just let it go against Winarski, uh, the suit go against Winarski. And so Winarski hired a real <laughs> high dollar prestigious law firm to, to, uh, lawyer for him and uh so it's months and months of going back and forth writing motions writing why it has to go forward finally uh magistrate uh judge ald a-u-d-e he determined that um yeah i could go ahead and sue winarski but the others uh were covered under some sort of uh qualified immunity but this was before I was able to get discovery. And discovery is very important. Now, this is where I went wrong. I should have put in before, uh, once I filed uh, my complaint, 
I should have filed for uh, discovery right away, put in with the judge or before that, put in for discovery of all these videos and arrest reports and use of force reports before I had uh, uh, filed my complaint. Now, in North Carolina, it's very, very difficult to get these records. Um, I got the um, initial uh, reports real late. Judge Ald was not able to see the initial uh, arrest reports, which stated that what I had said earlier, I had pushed uh, Officer Winarski center chest with back hand, with both of my hands, making him step back. And we didn't, we didn't see that, and neither did Judge Ald, but he didn't know that at the time because he didn't see the initial arrest report because the sheriff's department would not give it to me. So it took a long time before I could get the initial arrest report. Finally, I got those. And on the initial re arrest report, actually Jenkins, the, the officer in the light colored uh, outfit, stated that he did the arrest. All right. And he was on scene a matter of six seconds. If you look back at that and count uh, how, many, how much time it took him to get there. Here's Winarski right here. And I told him at the time, I said, buddy, I'm going to sue you. And look at him. He, I think I had him worried at that time. So anyway, uh, I, <laughs> I got the arrest report. And Jenkins had stated in his initial arrest report that he he made the arrest. OK, so I was allowed to go ahead and sue Winarski under uh, false arrest and false imprisonment, and all that. But I left him out of it. But once I got his his uh, initial report saying that he made the arrest, well, I uh, now I've asked the uh, judge to re include him and also to to include um North Carolina, uh, Guilford County, but I may not be able to sue Guilford County because the sheriff's office here is a independent uh, government within gov within Guilford County. So I had to go back and ask the judge again to allow me to sue uh, uh, Sheriff Rogers in his official capacity, being the uh, the employer of the deputies. Um, so that's what I'm waiting on right now. But the good news is, is that I settled with Winarski. Winarski wanted to settle. Which was real, you know, what was really funny about that is his lawyers had offered to settle with me for, for $5,000. And I said, you must be joking, man. I said, come on, a year and a half and you want to settle for, I'm thrown to the ground. I'm humiliated. I'm put in jail. I'm, you know, I have to go to the hospital. And you want to settle for five thousand dollars? I told him to make it ten thousand, and I'd settle. Well, my wife was upset; she wanted me to settle for five. <laughs> anyway, they came back at me and said, "Well, we'll settle for seven thousand five hundred." And <laughs> I, now I'm mad. And I guess okay. I, you know, I said, "No, I'll tell you what. I'll make you an offer. I'll settle for twenty thousand now." So I went up in price, and they got back with me right away and. So, okay, we'll give you the 10000 So I, I finally decided, okay, I'll settle for that because uh, everything that I, that it cost me up till that point was probably, oh, $2,000, $2,500 maybe. So I decided to go ahead and settle. And, uh, and I settled with them. So that's how that is. But the, the, uh, the main point is right now I'm trying to go back now and it, it, it might not work out. The judge might say, no, no, you can't go back now and sue the sheriff's department. But it, the sheriff's department withheld the initial uh, incident reports or arrest reports from me. They still haven't given me the use of for force reports. OK, so what I'm trying to get at here and I know I'm taking a long way to it. So if you if you've stuck with me, I appreciate it. What. Uh, what I'm trying to get at here is, let me uh, see if I can, I can't bring up another one. Uh, I'm trying to get at here is that if you want to 
do a pro se and sue on your own is um, have have the time have the time and have the energy and yeah a little bit of cash but if you have video and you're dead to rights go after them man I mean it it's costing uh, <clears throat> them way more than it's costing you other than time and energy okay okay I'm gonna stop here guys because I've been going on for almost 13 minutes uh, I'm gonna edit this a little bit but what you need to do uh, basically uh, and I'm willing to help now my email address is skadich606 at gmail.com if you have all this on video right if you have all this on video and you get the body cams and you get any cameras in the area they're showing that these cops did you wrong and you want a little bit of help making these motions filing the complaint write to me all right write to me right to skadich at skadich606 at gmail.com and uh, if i can i'll walk you through it I'll help you file the paper. I cannot be your lawyer. I'm not a lawyer and I can't give legal advice. All right. But I can help you do what I did and help you file the suit against the officer or the uh, entity that did you wrong. Okay. So you guys take care. Um, like I said, get in touch with me if you want some help. And I'm sorry if I drew this out too much, but I wanted to give you as much information as I can. Remember, you're going to have to have a little bit of money. I would say to file your lawsuit, $3,000. Okay. And I, that's just for the court filing fee, the summonses, and incidentals. Okay. After that, you're going to just have time and energy and a computer and plenty of plenty of printing paper okay and time to research the charges against you which are basically always the same when a cop arrests you uh, without probable cause okay so anyway get in touch with me skadich606 at gmail.com guys take care thanks for watching and I will see you on another day